Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's Olivia Grace, your manifestation queen, back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm talking about why our manifestations don't happen. Um, and basically everybody experiences this at some point, even if you've gotten a manifestation, I'm sure you're on to something new that you want to manifest and you may be wondering why it's not happening or why if the law of attraction is real, why don't all of our manifestations just happen? Why aren't we all millionaires? Why aren't we all just happy with the loves of our lives? And I have three reasons that um, your manifestations aren't coming to you and what to do about them. So the first is that you're too focused on your current reality. And you're basically, obviously you're creating what you believe, you're creating through your senses. And if you're too focused on what is, let's say if you're trying to manifest a lover and you've never been with somebody that you felt happy with, you've never experienced the kind of love that you're trying to manifest, so you're so focused on what is right now, which is that this person is not here, that you're still alone, you feel alone. Um, the kind of people that you come across are not the kind of people that you actually wanna be with. And so that reality being what it is, it makes you feel like, well, maybe this just can't happen for me. And you vibrate like that. As much as you're wanting and wanting and wanting, and if you are finding yourself like wanting a lot, um, definitely check out the video I made on Tuesday about releasing wanting um but if you're wanting you can't help but be in a state of wanting which attracts back to you a vibration and a reality of wanting where your desire is not there yet um so you're too focused on what's currently going on and not focused enough on the outcome that you're seeking um the next thing is that you have hidden resistance um this is something that i've kind of learned um recently about just myself and sometimes you may think that you've removed resistance around the subject that you're trying to manifest whether it be like money or uh you know a man or a house or whatever you may feel like well i don't have any resistance to that i believe it can happen i see that it can happen i feel like that but maybe you just have resistance period you may have even resistance to having what you want or having what you like the idea of yourself having what you want puts you off um for example somebody that wants money you may feel like well i i believe i can have money and i believe i can manifest money and i believe i deserve money but when you picture yourself with money you picture yourself as somebody that is not nice you picture yourself that is somebody or maybe you're afraid that you won't be able to handle the money you feel like you'll you're too nice so you'll give all your money away and you'll go back to being broke or you know maybe you're afraid that you'll get all the money and you'll lose it these are hidden things that are kind of like in the back of our mind that keep us from bringing our reality into um, or bringing our desires into fruition because we're worried about what is this going to make me then? Even though we want that desire so bad, there's still these back, back thoughts like in the back of our mind that is like, well, what is that going to make me after? And it will keep you from manifesting your desire because you don't want to become whatever bad things that you're thinking you will become in having it, your uh, manifestation. So... That's something, and that's really, to identify those, you have to just do some deep digging. You have to see, what am I, picture yourself, get really clear about the vision. A lot of people are very certain about what they don't want and how they don't want to be and what they don't want in their lives, but when you ask them to tell you exactly what they do want, they're stumped and they're like, well, I want a lot of money, but what does that look like? How much money do you want to have? What kind of neighborhood do you want to live in? What kind of car do you want to drive? What things do you want to do with all your free time that you're going to have if you're not working your regular job? Um, so these are the kind of things. And then when you start to think about those things, you'll see, oh, well, maybe deep down, I feel like I won't have anything to do if I quit my job. I feel like I'll be bored or I'll get into trouble or, you know, whatever kind of things. Um, so these are just things to uh, explore. And the last tip that I have for you guys is that um, basically what all these things mean is that um, your vibration is not a match. Your vibration to your, the vibration of your desire is a completely different vibration um, of the, basically the reality that you're in right now. Basically how they say the vibration of a solution or the um, thought process of a solution is a completely different thought process of a problem. Um, and so if you are so basically focused on the problem 
your vibration is that of the problem and you can't move into a state of having from a state of wanting from a state of I don't have a lot of people think that and it kind of works in human life you know if you're pitiful enough you know if you tell everybody how broke you are how sad it is how much you struggle how hard it's been maybe somebody reaches out and helps you or maybe somebody is like oh I see you hurting so let me help you let me give you some money let me pay your bill let me do this you know so we take that that feeling of pity and religion kind of teaches this too. take that feeling of pity and bring it to God like oh my god it's so hard I'm suffering help you know um, I need this if I don't have this then a B and C you know and but that reality that vibration coming from it um, from that aspect it doesn't allow it to come in because the you that you're trying to become doesn't feel like that the you that has the thing that you want isn't feeling lackful isn't feeling pitiful isn't feeling like oh god help me you know that person is feeling grateful they're feeling joyful they're feeling you know um abundant and we feel like you know from a deep despair a deep wanting that we can create what we want but you can't you have to move into the state first the state precedes the manifestation and it doesn't matter how sad you are, how pitiful you feel, or how much you want everybody to know how hard it is for you, your struggle, it's not going to change for you. And that's why there's no, there's no gain in pitying. There's no gain in feeling sorry for yourself or um, just kind of reiterating how hard it is and all that. And like, again, the world shows you that it is, you know, tell everybody how hard your struggle is, you know, and then people will care. But as far as you actually getting out of that struggle, it has to be you and it has to be an internal shift that you have to make. All right, guys. So that's what I got for you today. Um, you guys have an amazing rest of your Thursday and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.